The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. As the Jewish Passover was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple precincts, he came upon people engaged in selling oxen, sheep, and dogs, and others seated changing coins. He made a kind of whip of cords and, do and drove them out of the temple area, sheep and oxen alike, and knocked over the money changers' tables, spilling their coins. He told those who were selling doves, Get them out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of the scripture, Zeal, for your house consumes me. At this, the Jews responded, What sign can you show us authorizing you to do these things? Destroy this tem temple. Was Jesus answered, and in three days, I will rise it up. They restored, they retorted, this temple took 40 years, 46 years to build, and you are going to raise it up in three days? Actually, he was talking about the temple of his body. Only after Jesus had been raised from the dead, did his disciples recall that he had said this and come to believe the scripture and the word he had spoken. While he was in Jerusalem during the Passover festival, many believed in his name, for they could see the signs he was performing. For his part, Jesus would not trust himself to them because he knew them all. He needed he needed no one to give him testimony about human nature. He was well aware of what was in man's heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart and that people listen with their hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Sisters and brothers, thank you for your sacrifice coming here before God. Thank you for the love in your hearts. Um, have you ever experienced you go to a room or you join a table and when the people see you, they keep quiet and they change topic? You know why? Maybe you were the topic. change topic. That's what Lent is all about. Change topic naman tayo. What is your favorite topic? What is our favorite topic? Well, our most favorite topic in thoughts, words, and deeds is ourselves. It's all about I, me, and myself. In general, that's number one topic. What do you think most of the time? What do you talk about most of the time? What do you do most of the time? It's all about Sarili po. Second, favorite topic natin, people. Especially negative topics. Ang galing natin mag-isip negative about others, talk negative about others, and do negative to others. Third, events. Current events, opinions, issues, ayan, favorite topic natin yan. We, 
You go to social media, the chatter there. Everybody has some opinion. And uh, it's a contest of minds. And finally, oh, mayroon din pala si God. Sometimes, He becomes your topic. Sometimes, we talk about Him, we think about Him, so, according to grade, God is the lowest topic. Change topic na po tayo, sana. And this is what cleansing of the temple is all about. Let's be cleansed. How do we do that? Well, think God. Think God. Instead of thinking about so many things, Lord, what do you think? Naalaala mo rin ba si Lord in your day-to-day life? O nga, Lord, nandiyan ka pala. You're here. Oh. You know, God is very thoughtful of us. Tayo thoughtless. Sa totoo lang po, you try to remember how many times you think of God in your one day. Sana maging more thoughtful tayo. You know, we always think money, think business, think negative, and we overthink. Ang problema sa'yo, overthinking ka. You're always thinking and thinking. Matutulog ka na lang, think, overthinking ka pa rin. Learn to trust God more. Stop overthinking, mga kapatid. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Sorry, Lord. Madalas nakakalimutan ko kayo. But you never forget me. I will never forget you. I have carved you in the palm of my hands. Can a mother forget her child or the baby she bore? She Yet, even if the mother forgets her child, I will never forget you. Naalaala kita palagi. Thank you, God. Help me to think God more. God is with us. Number two, cleansing in our talk. Talk God. What is your favorite conversation in your house? Do you talk about God? Is He a member in your table? It's a workplace. Do you talk about God at all? Hardly. Ask the Lord, Lord, come into our conversation naman. Don't leave Him out. See, once you start that, corny mo naman. God, God ka pa dyan. It's okay. Remind people the presence of God. KJ ka naman. God, God na naman yan. It's okay. I stand for my God. Do it with love. Of course, don't preach about God to everyone. Masyado ka namang preaching. No. It's just remind people, hey, God is here. Nag-aaway kayo. Teka muna, sandali. Ang dami na tayong sinabi na masasakit. Let's pause. God is here. You will see something different will happen. Give God a chance. And please stop negative talk. Pinagpiepiesta ninyo yung mga wala, mga negative. Stop that. That's a sign of insecurity. That's a sign of... Deep, deep insecurity. And, alam po nyo, I, I, I keep telling this, I hope somebody will pick it up. Sana may apps sa gadget natin. Di ba mga pedometer, gan ilang steps, 10,000 steps? I would like to propose word meter. I will call it verbo meter. Bibilangin niya ilang words na sinabi mo. Pagdating ng 10,000 words, 
stop ka na. You are not allowed to talk anymore. I'm sure husbands will be happy. Oh, 10,000 ka na. Maybe we talk too much. And people keep talking and talking and talking. Oh, and most of the time they talk about themselves. Minsan nga po, I told somebody, alam mo, si Juan may sakit, ganito, ganito. Ay, ganun ba? Ako nga eh, may sakit eh. Mas malala pa. Eh, eh, siya na naman ang topic. Or this guy at a party who kept talking about himself and then I was just quiet. Hindi naman ako makapasok. And then he noticed and I said, Oh, Father Orbos, ikaw naman. Why don't you say something about me? Okay. <laughs> and I ask you today, is God a topic in your conversations? Is He an item in your life agenda? Don't leave God out. Cleanse the negatives. Bring God in. Third, take God. Take Him along with you. As I speak, I can almost say all of you here have a, a gadget with you. You take it every day wherever you go. Pag nakakalimutan mo, binabalikan mo pa yan. Question, how many of you have a rosary with you right now? Na kung nakalimutan mo, babalikan mo pa rin. That's what it means. Lord, I bring you along wherever I go. You know why? Because God... Without God, we are nothing. We are weak. Please, tell the Lord today, Lord, sometimes I forget you, but please stay with me. One of the most beautiful prayers is the prayer of Saint Padre Pio. Stay with me, Lord. Stay with me, Lord. I hope you find time to read that and pray that. Stay with me, Lord. I need you. And one of the things I cannot forget, some a month ago, Vincent, he was alone in a Texas hospital. He had to go to a surgery in the brain and all that. We were texting and texting. And one night, this was the message from me, from him. Takot ako, Father. Baka katapusan ko na ito. Please pray for me. Coming from a person who was miles away, takot na takot, baka katapusan ko na po, stay with me. Pray for me. Anong daladala mo sa mundo? Ang problema mo sa, sa iyo eh, wala kang kadaladala. You keep carrying the useless baggage in this world. And you forget your God, your most important companion. We carry nothing with us when we leave this world. Sisters and brothers, please don't forget this. You and I are servants with the Master. As long as you remember that, you'll be okay. Hindi ka magiging mayabang, matapang, masungit. I am a servant. I have a Master. I am a sinner. I have a Savior. It's not I, me, and myself. It's all about God. Yun ang change topic natin dapat. Uh, ito na lang po sa mga social media. Ano ba yan? Scroll? Scroll ka ng scroll? What do you watch? At kumisa may mga sumisingit na dasal, ini-skip mo yun. Hmm? Dasal yan. Dasal ah. In the entertaining. Yun na, sumisingit na si Lord. Ini-skip mo pa siya. Sana mga kapatid, remember this. God is with you always and in all ways. Pero sana, wag naman, we skip Him always and in all ways. Can't stop it. Put God in. And finally, thank God. Gratitude is the best attitude. 
when you begin to complain, compare, to blame the world and be angry with the world, thank you na lang. I hope you learn just to be grateful to God and you can find some peace already. Thank God. Salamat po. We're still okay. Dear brothers and sisters, that's my suggestion for cleansing. Think God. Talk God. Take God. Thank God. Be cleansed. And I'm very happy, well, to remember a man, Father Dennis Flynn, SVD. Well, he died at the age of 90 in Chicago, retirement home. He spent 63 years as a priest, and most of these were in Mindoro with the Manga. A man who can say, Flynn, Dennis, tough man. Tough speaking guy, Siga. But he had a heart. He was a warrior that was a child because he knew how to thank God. He knew how to thank God. He knew how to talk God and thank God. Till we meet again, dear conferer and friend. Sana ganito rin po tayo. That in the end, when we come before God, Lord, I also thought about you. I talked about you, Lord. I took you in my heart, and I always thank you. Sana masabi natin yan. Sana all. And by the way, fast forward. Heads up. Batawag don sa mga heads up. Heads up, baby. Heads up. Ano? Yan. Ah, hands up pala yon. Panahon natin. Heads up means. Uh, fast forward tayo, uh, Palm Sunday, uh, I'd like to invite you too for a, our Palm Sunday recollection. We used to have that for many years. It stopped for five years. Now we're taking it up again. This time, it's a Divine Mercy Chapel in the Estancia Mall in Pasi. 1.30 to 5.30. Heads up. Now, heads down, brothers and sisters. Lord, help me and cleanse me. Cleanse my thoughts. Help me to think, God. Cleanse my words. Help me to talk, God. And cleanse my deeds. Help me to take, God. And cleanse my negativities, my ungratefulness help me to take the mode thank God pasensya na po Lord nakakalimutan ka namin hindi ka namin pinag-uusapan hindi ka namin dinadala iniit sa pera ka namin madalas pasensya ka na po Lord kulang po kami sa pasasalamat Lord maraming salamat po for your patience Help us to change the topic of our lives. Amen.